Revelation also, but beyond uh, Revelation, that's, you know, some of you in here are going to live a long time, even beyond what, where I am now. But hallelujah. hallelujah. Some of you are going to be living to 150 even more. Hallelujah. You seek the Lord with all your heart. You don't want something that I, some of us have, I would say this, because I have to use my some of us, and there's some things that people think about us, or we think about them. Now, you know, pray for them. Those yeah. thoughts that you got yeah. in, your, in your heart right now. Get rid of them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If they act like they don't love, they don't care, don't you? Keep that mindset. No, 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 no. Get rid of all the stuff. Young people, when you go to schools, those kids, some of them don't want to be bothered with you or whatever, whatever happens. But you just smile and say, Praise That's all. Amen. Okay, I, I, I'm kind of letting you right now. Young man, I just smile. Hallelujah, you should be proud of it. Behind the don't let the enemy. Don't let the enemy. Don't let the enemy. Don't let the enemy. Where's that young man? Don't let the enemy. Well, let's keep raising y'all up. Mm. And God make a change in your life. Hallelujah. Mm. I'm letting God see. God just changed me. And God helped me to drop all of whatever the things you see. I need to drop all the Praise God. All right.
Hallelujah. Glory to God. I know you're smelling some of that good cooking yes. that you're going to get afterwards. Amen? Yes, but we need our spiritual food yes. first. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to give uh, honor where honor is due. Hallelujah to Hallelujah, Prophetess Christiana Ford in the House of Faith Non-Denomination Ministries. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap right where you are. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For truly, David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Where prayers can be heard and where mercy can be found. Hallelujah. Somebody need a blessing tonight. Uh, somebody uh, need a healing tonight. Uh, somebody need a miracle tonight. Uh, hallelujah. God has a blessing with your name on it. Come on, give us all some praise. Uh, sometimes we got to praise uh, the Holy Ghost in the house. Hallelujah. As you're standing in your feet, hallelujah, we want to worship. Do a worship selection right where you are. Thank you, Lord. You know the devil didn't fall us. So we didn't make it. We didn't make it. We didn't make it. So let's give God some worship. Let's give God some praise right where you are. Ushered in the Holy Spirit to a higher measure. 
Hallelujah. Can you say higher? higher. We need to go up higher. We need to go up higher. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hallelujah. So, we're going to look at the Word. See, the last time I was here, I was running up and down this church. I'm going to tell you, I really was. You don't think that, you know, if he wasn't here, you might say, no, I don't think he was running up and down. Yes, I was. I was running from the front all the way to the back while I was preaching, while I was prophesying, while God, the unction of the Holy Ghost, was had me under control. But tonight, Hallelujah. I just want to give you some spiritual food so we can move on to that next level. Because it don't have to be all like that all the time. Amen. Hallelujah. Now we go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's look in the Bible. You may take your seat. Amen. You may take your seat. Let's look in the Word in the book of Matthew. The 28th chapter, 19 and 20 verse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let the music minister to you. It's a little loud, but that's all right. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, this service, as the woman of God mentioned, is going all over the world right now. Amen. They may see you in China right now. Amen. They might just see the back of your head. But they might see you when you came up too. Hallelujah. De depending on what part we're going to air. Amen. You know for sure we're going to get some of that music in there. Amen. Hallelujah. And I like the way Minister Melvin was opening up the service with praising God from his heart. From the depths of his heart. I enjoyed the woman of God, Minister Eva. I enjoyed all of you. And the ones that I didn't get a chance to hear, I caught the tail end of Prophetess Linda. But if I didn't catch all of you because you came up while I was out, I have the video. Amen. Can you say thank you, Jesus? Hallelujah. I will review it completely. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As a matter of fact, I'll probably look at it several times because I want to absorb it all. But Matthew 28. 19. Was the word of God. Amen. Yes. 
that became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. That of the only begotten of the Father. You see, Jesus, he doesn't have the anointing. He is the anointing. Let's give the Lord a praise right where you are. Hallelujah. 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 He is the anointed one. He is the anointing. He doesn't just have the anointing. He is the anointing. But he's the word that became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory that of the only begotten of the Father. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let that sink in the word that became flesh. The word that became flesh. Hallelujah. Let me tell you what Jesus really is. He's a person. Just like you and me. He's a person. Hallelujah. He born by the Virgin Mary. Hallelujah. But he was the word that was made flesh. Can you say the word? The word. The logos. Yeah, the logos. He's the logos. What is the logos? The logos is the word, but the logos is God. That's why Jesus is God. Hallelujah. See, it says, in the beginning was the Word. It never said Jesus did. In the beginning was Jesus. It says, in the beginning was what? The Word. And then, it says, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was God. This is uh, St. John, the first chapter, by the way. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God and the Word was God. That's before Jesus even came in the picture. We weren't talking about Jesus before that. You need to, you know, see it as it's written. God, Jesus even told the devil as it is written. That's how it's written, right? He's not, he's the Word that became flesh and dwelt the moments. Yes. And once the word became flesh in Jesus, we beheld his glory. That of the only begotten of the Father. Yeah, that. That's the glory we beheld. They beheld in that day. We still behold in the glory. I behold the glory when Dr. June Paul came up here and spoke from a hallelujah, all that 50 years of dedication to the Lord. I was blessed when I heard Sister Shireen, is that what I say you could name correctly? Hallelujah, and your beautiful sister came up and ministered what? The Word. See, it's the Word. Hallelujah. The Logos. What is the Logos? The Logos is the love of God. The Logos is holiness. It's holy. Hallelujah. The, ho the Logos is the light. The light of men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible in, in St. John, it tells you that he was the light of men. The Logos is the glory of God. The Logos is God. Because the Word was in the beginning. It was with God in the beginning. So, Jesus received the Word. He became flesh. At least the word became flesh. <laughs> he was already going to become flesh because that's Mary's child. Hallelujah. So, I want to bring emphasis to that. But Matthew said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. I'm 
preaching the gospel right now. Because I'm telling you about the word. I'm telling you about somebody that don't know the gospel. He is the gospel. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He is the reason for the season. Amen. When we get to Christmas, we like to use that little cliche, amen? He's the reason for the sin. He is, though. Hallelujah. He is the resurrecting Savior. Hallelujah. When they get around Resurrection Day, He is everything. So I'm preaching the gospel by just preaching the word. And the word is hopefully elevating you. It's strengthening you. It's fortifying you. It's making you holy. You're being washed, hallelujah, by the washing of the word. Let the word wash you. Hallelujah, glory to God. He said, I'm coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle. Amen. I want to give you a little bit more revelation. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. That's not all he told us. He said, baptize them in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Baptize them in the name of the Father. Baptize them in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Teaching them to observe everything that Jesus said. Is that right? What's everything that Jesus said? The Word. That's everything He said right now. Even though if they put every, everything that He said, it wouldn't be able to fit. You know, you wouldn't be able to carry it around. He said a lot more, but still. Hallelujah. It says, baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Teaching them to observe everything that Jesus said. Everything. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Give, give the Lord uh, a wave of you. 